Wow, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time of the hour when you're watching this and also depending on where you are watching this from. This is the Beholders Chat and we are here and we are excited about it and it is all of God. Got it's it. not of man, it is not of anything that you have done, but it is all of God. Like we usually say that Christ is at the center of everything that we do everything that we say, everything that we hear, everywhere that we go, we, we make sure that it is all about Christ. None of us, but all about Christ. I would like us to pray, then I will introduce my guests. Actually, they are not guests because this show has no guests. Everyone is a member of the show. <laughs> Father, we thank you for a wonderful session that we are having today as we get into your word. We thank you for revelation knowledge will flow freely, unhindered, in the name of Jesus. And as the revelation flows, we thank you that our lives will be transformed by the renewing of our minds by your word, O oh God. I thank you for my viewers tonight. I call them blessed. They are blessed in their going out, in their coming in, and the glory of knowledge is made manifest in their lives. Thank you, and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Ah, amen, amen, amen. So, uh, this is the Beholders Chat, and as usual, I'm not alone. I am uh, with my two wonderful brothers and friends. We've known each other for a long time. Mm. And uh, on my left side, should I start with my left or my right? I will start <laughs> with my left side. <laughs> on my left side, I have uh, Brother Jeremiah Blessing, Apostle, mm -hmm. Prophet, <laughs> Jeremiah <laughs> Blessing. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> and Evangelist. Praise the Lord. My Hallelujah. name is Apostle Jere. I'm saved by grace through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. I have been found in Christ, not having my own righteousness, the righteousness that is of the law, mm -hmm. but the righteousness that is of faith, which is in Christ Jesus. I'm saved today by grace through faith, which is in Christ. I'm so blessed to be here. And I believe that for the next few moments we are having here, your life will never be the same again. Pay attention and listen. Your life will never be the same again. Awesome. Awesome. So he says, pay attention. Make sure that you're not poor to an extent where you cannot pay <laughs> attention. So he says, pay attention. Then on my right hand side, I have uh, my awesome, amazing, glorious brother called <laughs> Bonnie Glorious, the Glory. Yes, sir. Welcome, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I love you so much, and we love the Lord and bless Him because of what he has done and what he continually does in our lives. He's a good father and he's amazing. My name is Bonnie Glorious and by his goodness, by his love, because wow. of the revelation of Christ, you cannot even be poor, not to pay attention and you cannot <laughs> remain the same yeah. again. You are of God and you have overcome. Today. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amazing. So how have you been guys? What has been happening in your life? How is the, the word of God taking you? Is the Spirit of God taking you? If you can tell us how you are mm -hmm. and encourage the, the viewer even as we take our session. I am blessed. I have been experiencing the goodness of the Lord. Mm -hmm. There is one thing that, that you will always encounter anytime you have an, a relationship with Christ. Number one, you will have the peace of God. You will know that you are not alone. You belong to Him. And once you know you belong to Him, therefore things will flow freely because number one you know who you are and once you know who you are in fact you know who he is and because of that you reign in this life so i've been good jesus is lord and i just want to encourage anyone who is facing maybe issues in this life i want to tell you that god is a good god and god is there for you the bible says he does not live nor forsake he is there for you the bible says that he has promised in his word mm -hmm. he told the disciples that i am going but i'll give you a comforter he will be always with you. So I am with the Holy Spirit in the inside of me and I have all that it takes. I'm complete. Awesome. Amen. So you <laughs> like this, you're complete. I am complete in Christ. Awesome. <laughs> uh, Bonnie Gloria, so what do you tell the viewers as we take it up? Uh, there is nothing so amazing mm -hmm. like what we have received in Christ Jesus. Wow. Yeah. yeah, the salvation and all that Christ has done for us, it has qualified us for big things and many things. He has given us the best gift one can mm -hmm. ever give. He has given us his life, mm -hmm. his very life and his own ability. And right now he says, just come to me 
receive from me. Receive wow. anything you will need. Receive it from me. There's a time Jesus visited Mary and Martha. And those days sitting down as a lady was traditionally, or according to the society, it was very wrong. You looked like you are a very irresponsible. <laughs> but, but the Lord Jesus, because he loves it. <laughs> yeah, because he loves it more when we receive from him. Mm -hmm. Now, in fact, when we, when we receive from him, he becomes more big and more adequate. Because at that time, I believe in Mar Martha's heart, everything was clear. Yeah. The Lord himself looked so tired and he looked so hungry. But when we feed from him, we make him more stronger and bigger so uh, today i call you to the place of mary sit down relax and enjoy the flight the Hallelujah. lord himself is talking to you receive from him and i know you cannot you cannot afford to be the same amen wow. yeah. Hallelujah. sit down relax and enjoy, enjoy. the flight so <laughs> buckle up your belt yeah. we are getting on into the word so in our last episode we were talking about the word and prayer right mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, there are so many things that we saw we like uh, we say that uh, it is of necessity mm -hmm. that believers understand or get to the knowledge of the word yeah. and uh, this verse came to me where where the right where is it is it uh, paul who is telling timothy yeah. that this is the will of god mm -hmm. that all may be saved yeah. and come to the knowledge, to the knowledge of christ, of christ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so being saved is not enough yeah we also need to come to the, to the knowledge. knowledge of christ mm -hmm. and uh, we talked about the word mm -hmm. and i remember as we were concluding in our last episode mm -hmm. we said we gave a story of uh, mary yeah the mother of jesus yes yeah. Not the mother, the mother of God, the mother no, of Jesus. No, Jesus no. <laughs> cannot be the mother of God. <laughs> <laughs> and we say that how, when uh, you know, in the in the wedding at Cana of Galilee, yeah. the the wine that they had mm -hmm. uh, was finished, mm -hmm. and the guys thought that Mary would go and ask Jesus yes. on their behalf to provide what wine, wine. or to work it out. Yeah. Uh, so Mary goes to Jesus and. Uh, Jesus looks at that woman. <laughs> woman. And sometimes it's it's, <laughs> it's funny because Jesus is going to the mother. Yes. And uh, how Jesus responds is somewhat interesting because yes. Jesus tells Mary, "Woman, mm -hmm. not my mom. Mm -hmm. Woman, <laughs> what have I to do with you at this time?" So these guys thought that through Mary. Mm -hmm. Uh, their prayers will be heard to mm -hmm. uh, by by Jesus, mm -hmm. but uh, when Mary realized how Jesus responded, mm -hmm. she went back and told them uh, that doctrine that we are trying to create yeah, of if sending Mary it doesn't to work pray for here. you. It doesn't, it doesn't work, work here. here. <laughs> <laughs> this man works with his yes. word. Yes. Yeah. He works, and everything he does yeah. it is by his word. Mm -hmm. So he told the guys that now do this, don't send me. To Jesus again, again. Yeah. I will never go. Mm. So that doctrine you have started here, mm. it stops here. Right now. Stop sending Mary mm. to pray for you. Yeah. She doesn't have the ability. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Mary, Mary told the, the guys, yeah. now go to him mm. and watch him as he talks. talks. Yeah. Whatever he tells you to do, mm -hmm. yeah. do it. Yeah. Because he works with his word. Mm -hmm. And that is where I believe we left last yes, time. Yes, yes, yes. That God Himself works with His Word. Yeah. God cannot work mm -hmm. outside His, his word. word. Yeah. He cannot do mm -hmm. anything mm -hmm. outside His mm -hmm. Word. Yeah. So if we have to walk with Him, yeah. even even when God wanted to give birth mm -hmm. to us, mm -hmm. we said we have been born of mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Word. So even when God wanted to give birth to us, yeah. He gave birth to us yeah. by His Word. Right. Even when God was creating mm -hmm. in the in the book of Genesis, yeah. it is His word. He spoke things into existence. Yeah. So it is of necessity that we must understand mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. if we want to walk with God and experience God, yes. then there must be a very great place mm -hmm. of the word of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I want us to pick it up from there now. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, as I open up this forum, yeah. I first want to go to the book of First. Not first John, the book of John. Okay. The epistle. Mm -hmm. Not the epistle. Mm -hmm. The gospel. Yes. The gospel of John. The gospel of John, chapter mm -hmm. one. From verse one. Mm -hmm. 
he says in the beginning mm -hmm. was the word yeah. and the word was with God mm -hmm. and the word was, was God, God. Yeah. he was in the beginning with mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. and all things were made through him mm -hmm. and without him nothing was made mm -hmm. that was made in him was life and the life was the light of men and the light shines in the darkness and darkness and the darkness did not comprehend it mm -hmm. yes now he's telling us about the the essence of the word that before anything was the word was, was. Wow. And he says, in the beginning was the word. So mm -hmm. the same that was from the beginning is the same that is unto and the end. end. Yes. Yeah. That is the word. Wow. Mm -hmm. And now he, he, personize, he personifies, mm -hmm. he gives the word uh, personification. Like yeah. in verse 14 he says, mm -hmm. And the word became flesh yeah. and dwelt among us, yeah. us, and we beheld his glory, yeah. the mm -hmm. glory as of the only begotten of the Father, mm -hmm. yeah. full of grace mm -hmm. and truth. Yeah. Now, I want us to, to have this discussion in this way, that uh, what is the essence of this word? Mm -hmm. What is the importance of the word mm -hmm. in the life of a believer? Yeah. Wow. Yes, yes, and now I want to open, or to open mm -hmm. this forum mm -hmm. so that we can take it up from there, because you say that we are taking a flight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with the first gear. Does uh, aer aeroplanes use gears? <laughs> yes, I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> engage, engage the first gear. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I engage the first gear. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe possibly uh, from from the standpoint where I am at. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I love I love the essence of the the, the way John began the, the book of. The, that book of John, yes. it is one of the book. It is the only book that is not synoptic. Mm -hmm. That means it is not like every other book written about the history, yeah. background of Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it begins with a, a good notice of how Jesus was not just a mere personality. Mm -hmm. He took the form of, in fact, he gives him the characteristic of God himself mm -hmm. in his totality, wow. in his fullness. I, 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 love, I love what happened. The, the, the writings of the Word of God, mm -hmm. they are the only things that when we read, mm -hmm. we, we have a revelation of the personality of God in Christ Jesus. Yeah. He gives us a pass. It brings out it's only in Christ where the Holy Ghost overshadowed a virgin woman and then she was found with the Son of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. it, is only in, it is only when we read the Word of God. So yes. here he's trying to reveal to us that life goes beyond what we know from wow. the scientific point of view. Mm -hmm. It goes beyond what we have been understanding. Mm -hmm. It goes to a point of it, it gives it gives the word of God a personality, like you've said, it personifies the word of God. Mm -hmm. It gives it a personality. It ceases to be just a word and it becomes a personality. Mm -hmm. And the word there, it is the written word, it is mm -hmm. the logos, the word which was in God, which now was even taken down by the Holy Ghost, and now it was inspired through men mm -hmm. and it was written through. A handwriting so the word of god it is the the life of god revealed it is mm -hmm. the life of god written down it is the life of god that when you read the word of god you understand the mindset of god all over life and Praise over god. all things mm -hmm. you understand he said he it's only in there's a place you've read that when when we come to that place of that word mm -hmm. in him was life and that <laughs> life was the light of light men, of men. Yeah. Yep. So when we, when we have a good study of the word, it comes and brings a certain light. It brings a certain reality. Mm -hmm. It reveals a certain life. And that life, it is to the point that we may relate with it. Wow. Yes, I bet that can be a good startup for wow, now. Wow, wow. Yeah. Uh, you've started on high gear. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Wow, I, I love it. The importance of the word and prayer. You know, from the old covenant, people never knew God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why people did things in an era form simply because they didn't know i'll say this the importance of word and prayer number one it helped us to know him better mm -hmm. to know god better the reason as to why people go go taking all this trash from everywhere is because they don't know and you know when you don't know you don't have knowledge and the knowledge is the knowledge of Christ Jesus. And I love how Paul is, is saying in Philippians 3 and from verse number 10, that I may know him and the power of resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering, being conformed to his death, that I may know him. You know, there, there comes a time when you now want to know what is the truth about every other thing? What is the truth about this thing? And Paul is saying that I want to know him. I want to know him and not only knowing him I want to know the power of his resurrection because once I know I get the power of resurrection I will understand who God 
really is. You know, the nature of God is good, but religion and uh, the world has defined it differently. We think that it's God who kills, it's God who gives life. We think that it's God who uh, gives us a... Uh, what? diseases so brings diseases it is god who heals so people are like so where is god where do we draw the line and all this it and kukua an issue until you know him and paul now is saying i want to know him and the power of his resurrection why because when i know who he is i will know how to relate with him you know i will know how to relate with him and once you don't know him your relationship with the, with him it will end up in error yeah. now in every family we have two kids we have kids and there is this one kid who knows the father is very bad my father is very bad no matter what my father does he is very bad but there is another kid who knows my father is very good so what makes the difference how you relate with your father and you know and how you know your father and god wants us to know him as a good father he wants us to know him as a good father yeah. because once you know him as a good father yeah. you won't just live happily with him yeah. but you will know even your position yeah. in him so i would say you have to know him yeah. you know when you look at the book of uh, luke 15 and from verse number 21 we have this scenario of these two sons and this son the 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 the, 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 the son who was lost it is always said that it is the lost, the, the, the lost, <laughs> so the prodigal. But it's not about the prodigal; it's about the loving father. Yeah. These two guys never knew their position in uh, their position. They never knew the father. Yeah. That's why he took and went. Yeah. But look at it, verse number twenty-one. The sons th started his speech. Father, I have sinned against God. I have sinned before you. Don't deserve to be called your son ever again. Verse twenty-two. But the father wasn't listening. He was calling to him, to, to the servants, quick, bring a clean set of clothes and dress him. But the family and the family ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. You see, the, the father knew the son differently. He knows the, 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 the son differently. And when even the son comes with this mentality, uh, you know, the father won't accept me, so let me come up with my own idea on how I can be part of it. The father had a different a, a different sense yeah. about it so he knew this is my son i love my son yeah. i tell I, I i want to have my son back and because i am a good father yeah. i know even how to relate with him so i would say it, it starts by how do you relate with your father mm -hmm. yes wow wonderful mm -hmm. so the word of god as a, as heard from uh, bonnie mm -hmm. and uh, and Jeremiah yeah. is that the word of God it's only through the word that yeah. you can get to know yes. God yeah. uh -huh. it's only through the word of God that you can it's only through the word actually yeah. there is no other way yeah. Yeah. Uh, but some people say that when you look at the mountains you know God when uh -huh. you look at the rivers mm. you know God oh when you look at creation you God but according to the conversation that I've had yes. uh, uh, reading or he listening in between the lines yeah. you can tell yeah. it is uh, it is exclusively mm -hmm. through the word of God yeah. that we get to know God himself. Yes. And uh, you say it uh, mm -hmm. like we read here mm -hmm. in uh, John chapter 1, mm -hmm. that in him, that all things were made through him, mm -hmm. and without him nothing was made that was made. Then you say it, in him was life, and mm -hmm. the life was the light of oh, men. Yeah. So it is only in the word yeah. that we get to know this life, yeah. yes. and we get to experience this mm -hmm. light of men. Yeah, then you talked about... Uh, he talked about the relationship with the mm -hmm. Father. Mm -hmm. So even the relationship with God as our Father mm -hmm. is well defined yeah. in the Word, through His Word. Yeah. Through his word. Yeah. So outside the Word, we yeah. can never mm -hmm. know God yeah. mm -hmm. as the Father. Yeah. It's only through the Word. Mm -hmm. And now this, uh, uh, this helps us to have a perfect relationship with God as Father, yeah. and not as a religious God. Yeah. Yes. You know, sometimes when we depend on other things to know God, yeah. mm -hmm. we know Him religiously. Yeah. Yes, true. Apart from his word. Mungo wa mianga yote. Njua na mwezi. You know him religiously. Yeah. But when we depend on the word, yeah. we get the, the, because the word is the exactness of God. Yes. That is what we are saying about yes, the, yes. the personification of the word. Yes. Yeah. The exactness of God yeah. is the person of God. Yeah. So you cannot differentiate the word yeah. and God. God. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. wow. Mm -hmm. So if we want to know God, mm -hmm. We, the only way yeah. is to know the word. The word. Absolutely. And yeah. uh, what, is the, what is the necessity of knowing God? What does, how does knowing God help us now? Mm -hmm. Or how does it help us in any way? Mm -hmm. And how does the word help us to know God? Or 
how does how does the word define god yes. as yeah. mm -hmm. yes bonnie okay 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 uh f from that viewpoint mm -hmm. uh when when the the people who are used by god to bring the word of god to us mm -hmm. uh th this th there's a growth that has happened mm -hmm. in our nation and even in every nation where the the missionaries went to in africa mm -hmm. when they brought the word of god uh, we used to think that it is by having the word of god that will make us very powerful uh, in mm -hmm. fact in my earlier days in this life uh, i came across a movie where i used to see guys holding a bible and then there was a battle between a demonic worshiper and a and a guy from christ so now i used to think that the word the power of the word of god is majorly on the written manuscript mm -hmm. that is here outside that uh, without the revelation i can do the fight and that brought us to a place where we even saw people who are attacked by maybe evil spirits in the mind they used to sleep on the bible and then they used to think that this one will help us from this thing but you find that it was not necessary mm -hmm. it was not helping them in any way so only to realize that yes in the word of yes the word of god is there and it has got power and it contains in it the power and the overcoming the thing that makes us to rule in this world mm -hmm. and in fact when jesus christ was coming to this world when when in the book of Luke they are prophesying the coming of John, he says that the, the, the reason of his coming, he will reconcile the sons to wow. the fathers, wow. and he will reconcile the fathers to, to the, the sons. sons yeah. And then he says, and he will bring the sin, the sinners or the unjust to the to the mindset or to the wisdom of the just. Mm -hmm. That was inside the word of God. Mm -hmm. So when we study the word of God from from the question, the necessity of the word of God, when we come to the written word of God, and then we have a good study of the same and the revelation of it, we have a knowledge of it, not just the scientific knowledge of. Mm -hmm what it says here and there and there. No, but the knowledge that wow. is through revelation. Mm -hmm. When the word of God is revealed to us and then we relate with it from the point of what is revealed to us, that is the cure of anything that we will ever come across. It is the power of God. He says, you will know the truth mm -hmm. and the truth will make you free. Hold it there. Yes, sir. We'll go for a break. Okay. And we'll, be, we'll be right back. You pick it up from, we shall know the truth. And, and it shall make us free. Yes. Let us go for a short break. We'll okay. be right back after this. All right, all right. Welcome back. This is the Beholders Chat, and uh, I am with Bonnie Glorious the Glory and uh, Jeremiah Blessing. Mm. Wow, before the break, you were saying something about knowing the truth. Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah. up from there. Sir. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. And I was picking up from John chapter 8, from verse 32. Mm -hmm. I'm reading the King James Version. Yeah. When he says, And you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Mm -hmm. So it, it is just beyond having it at yourself and just reading it. But the, the word knowledge here is not just knowledge, but the revealed knowledge, mm -hmm. the revealed knowledge of the truth. And when you know him, and when you know the truth, when the truth is revealed to you, you will be made free. That is what guarantees freedom. Mm -hmm. And then you relate with it. That is the key of human living. It is the light that lightens every man that comes into the world mm -hmm. as long as any man is in this world but then has got the place of understanding or having the word of god revealed to him he is set free he is in light he is wow. enlightened wow yes sir. so the light that we are talking about in john chapter one that yeah. in him was life yeah and this and the, this was the the light, light of, of men, men. yeah and uh, freedom cannot be experienced by man until he comes to the place of knowledge yeah and you say that is it is not just knowledge yes it is revelation knowledge yeah and uh oh, when i was in school yes as a greek scholar oh, okay <laughs> Uh, I learned that there are two different, okay, there are many different kinds of knowledge, yeah. but uh, there is the, 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 the normal knowledge, yeah. which is uh, science knowledge, yeah. and the, the normal knowledge, yeah. 
uh, the general knowledge yeah, so. and uh, the greek word for that is gnosis yeah then we have the the revelation knowledge yeah. as you're saying yeah. the greek word for that is gnosko yeah which now means yeah. the word stops being uh, something you are reading in the scriptures yeah. and it becomes a revelation yeah. to you yeah. so you grow from the place of just knowing what yeah. the bible says yeah. to understanding yeah. the true meaning yeah. of what the bible says absolutely and uh, so the other importance of the word now is as we we have seen we have heard from you yeah. is that uh, it ushers man yeah. to the place of freedom yeah. the freedom mm -hmm. that is uh, that is of of Christ yeah, because true. you shall know the truth yeah. and the truth shall make you free. Yeah. So it is not just the truth that makes people free. Yeah. It is the knowledge, of the, the revelation truth. knowledge of the truth. Yes. yes sir. How big is that? So big, Jerry? Yeah. That's very big. That we grow in the knowledge of Christ. Yeah. You know, it's not just a growing. Yeah. You know, that's why we define it as the word of his grace. Mm -hmm. Because when you grow in the word of his grace, mm -hmm. number one, you grow in him mm -hmm. you grow in him yeah. so all that you receive you receive from him mm -hmm. directly. Mm -hmm. you receive you receive you receive his life and once you receive his life the next thing is that you walk his life mm -hmm. so you are driven you are driven by him mm -hmm. so it's all about christ wow yeah yeah, yeah. so the the knowledge mm -hmm. uh the knowledge of the revelation knowledge that we get from knowing the truth even changes our way of life mm -hmm. as you're saying you yes. you walk mm -hmm. this word yes and you talk this word yes and you manifest this word yes. it becomes your lifestyle it becomes your lifestyle yes, yes, yes. and uh, you've mentioned something very important mm -hmm. uh, and it is mentioned by apostle paul in the book of acts mm -hmm. he says i commend you brethren to the word of his grace yes. that is able to build you up yeah. and give you an inheritance yeah. so does it mean also that Apart from the word helping us to know God, yeah. it helps us to access the freedom, yeah. our freedom in Christ, yeah. and it also helps us now to do what? To after accessing the freedom, mm -hmm. it also gives us the gets us to the place where yeah. uh, we 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 get to understand yeah. who we are in Christ. Yeah. And when you get to understand who we are in Christ, yeah. now he says the word of his grace that is able to build, build us, us up. Yeah. The word of grace mm. why specifically is he calling it the word of his grace and he's saying that this word of his grace mm -hmm. builds us up mm -hmm. and gives us an inheritance why is paul calling it the word of his grace is there any something anything that is so special about the the word calling uh, about paul calling it the word of his grace yeah Only. yes sir mm -hmm. yeah there is there is an essence of the same because uh all along we have known God being so evil. Like me, when when you look at my knowledge of God from age zero. <laughs> Which one is age zero now? Age zero is when you are not yet even one year. <laughs> that is what the and that is what our, our dear nurses who are in this world call them mm -hmm. from the first months to to a to an earlier age. Me, I used to think God being a very evil person. Being somebody who looks at you, waiting for you to do something that is very wrong, and then he is waiting for you to lash. Do you mean how many people? Do you know how many people yes, see sir. God in that perspective even many. today? Yeah. Not just from zero age, yeah. <laughs> even even at ninety years. <laughs> do you think God is waiting for them to to mess so that he can whip them? Yeah. So continue. Yeah. So there, there is there is the correctness of the knowledge of God, mm -hmm. and there is another correctness which is okay. There is another misunderstanding or misinterpretation of God, mm -hmm. and that's. Why why the first thing when in fact it, it is in the same chapter of John chapter 1 mm -hmm. when when God came the first thing he did he revealed his love in mm -hmm. fact the bible says that of his fullness have we all we received and grace, grace for, for grace, grace. Yeah. he came full of grace, grace. Hallelujah. and truth Praise so now God. when Jesus came here he had to reveal what the word of God really said because wow. there are people who are scholars of the word of God in fact they are called the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the scribes mm -hmm. and maybe some other sees there <laughs> <laughs> some other sees <laughs> Yeah, they, they left out the name of the disciples of the Pharisees. Maybe he read a seas there. But anyway, all in all, there, there's something that Jesus says in the same, same book of John. He says that you guys, you search the scriptures. That means these people were not studying any other thing, but they were studying the word of God. Mm -hmm. But still, in the studying of the word of God, there is a certain knowledge of God that they will capture. 
from that thing mm. they will capture the not his grace not his goodness but something outside of the grace of god so that is why when he comes he says that the thing that is able to build you up it is the message of his grace mm. it is the knowledge of his grace and he commended them to the goodness of god and to the word mm. of his grace because that is the one that has got the power to enrich you and it is the one that relates man and god it brings god oh sorry it brings men to the place of god it has reconciled us back to God. Mm-hmm. Yes sir. That is the the word of his grace. Wow. Yes. So it is not just any other word that you are supposed to that that has the ability to build us. Yeah. It is the specific word, word of, of his, his grace. grace. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. you want to say something Yes, I, 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 uh, in adding that, I will say um the other thing that will make us to you know to enjoy this life and to 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 get really the word of God is mm-hmm. when our eyes are enlightened. Mm-hmm. Um, Ephesians 1 and from verse 18 it says your eyes focused and cleared so that you can see exactly what is what it is he is calling you to do mm-hmm. grabs the immensity of glorious way of life he has for Christians that is um, uh, that is message Bible so he's saying that the eyes of your understanding be ye enlightened be ye open because mm-hmm. once your your eyes are enlightened you can be able to see Jesus as he is you can be able to relate with him you know when your eyes are uh, you know the law of moses their eyes were closed mm-hmm. so they couldn't see anything good uh, any good thing mm-hmm. but the bible is now telling us that the paul is praying that the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened because once your eyes are enlightened you will be able to know what is him which uh, what he's able even to do even to our lives praise mm-hmm. the lord Amen. so once once our eyes are enlightened i i i will say like uh let's desire our eyes to be opened praise the lord Amen. now for example in hebrews 12 and from verse 3 and some like, keep your eyes on jesus you know fixing our eyes into jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith mm-hmm. you know uh, this reminds me of the the two guys who are walking with Jesus, you know, uh, that we can road, something, road the to road a to a mouse. Uh, to a mouse. Yes. These, these two guys were, um, you know, they, they, were they, talking they were talking about, they were talking the to, Jesus. to Jesus about Jesus, mm. you know, something that had happened that weekend. And so it looked like Jesus was not understanding what you know, was You know, I love no. that story because oh, these God. guys, yes. they, they were walking alone and they were, they were talking about how there was this man yes. who came, yeah. he died, mm. then... Without, without then Jesus the, joins them and he asks them what are you what discussing are you and they are wondering <laughs> have you been in town so they started explaining to Jesus about Jesus, <laughs> about Jesus. and the Bible says that as they were walking they had to to become a holy and Jesus said to open up for them who I am yeah. And the Bible says he broke the bread. Wow. And when they ate the bread, their eyes were enlightened. Mm-hmm. And what does that mean? When we sit down, pay attention to the word of God, our eyes are enlightened. Wow. That now we can see Jesus as he is. Mm-hmm. We know that Jesus loves us. We know that Jesus cares for us. We know that Jesus is there for us. Mm-hmm. You know, we see him in a different perspective. Mm-hmm. There is a story that people pray eras people pray you know father this is at junior kina nani you know to tire haria to you know they're going into greek we don't know that's why people pray it's because they don't know god it they even don't even you know you pray when you are in the midst of the prayer you're saying ah. You know, <laughs> what, what am I saying? Yeah, you know, yeah. but once you know yeah. what God has done, <laughs> mm-hmm. you will relate to Him as a father. Yeah. You will talk to Him, yes, and you know, once you know Him, you you don't need to begin from the beginning to the end. You yeah. begin from the center, yeah. then to the end, then to the beginning, yes. because He's your Father. Yeah. You know, yeah. for example, when you talk to your father, yeah. do you do you come with a composition so Father number one? <laughs> even they you know yeah. you can just begin yeah. that's why i remember when i was young uh, weekend in geisha and by the end of the weekend you're asema and at the ambio to let the tab where you know it's monday morning yeah. and you're like you guy yeah. why didn't you say yeah. <laughs> because you have a relationship because you have that. a relationship yeah. and one thing you know is that it will be provided by the end of the day wow. so wow. just know <laughs> so our eyes needs to be enlightened yeah. so that we can know even how to relate with him yeah. and then this now enlightenment comes through the word yes as, as as paul is praying for the church mm-hmm. he's praying that 
their eyes would be enlightened, Maka. their eyes would be filled with light, uh -huh. that they may, they may know God as he is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they may know God as he is, and when they know God as he is, mm -hmm. because you say that when Christ came, as you, you are talking about the word of his grace, yeah. he came to, re to represent and to, to manifest yeah. who, Father really, who the Father is yeah, and sure. who God truly is. Mm. There is a way in the, in the minds of men God was formed. There were images and thoughts that God people had yeah. about God. Yeah. But now Christ comes in and shows us who God is. God is. And now Paul comes in and tells us that your eyes, and pray praise for the church, that your mm -hmm. eyes will be enlightened, mm -hmm. that you may see, mm -hmm. that you may know. Mm -hmm. So this, this enlightenment that comes with the, with the mm -hmm. word of God brings about knowledge. Mm -hmm. Actually, I love it. He does not say that your eyes will be enlightened, that you may see. Mm -hmm. yeah, he that says you that know. you are eyes would be light enlightened mm -hmm. that you may ah, know and i believe idea, the great past percent the greatest percentage of the church yeah, are living in darkness yeah. about their their health yeah. they're yeah. living in darkness they're not sure about what their righteousness yeah. they're not sure about their wholeness yeah. they're not sure about anything yeah. they're not even sure about heaven yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> many people are not even sure about heaven yes. but now when the word of god comes with clarity yeah. and our eyes are, are enlightened by the Spirit yeah. to understand the, the Word of God, yeah. then even our prayer life is changed. Change, sure. you, you talked about uh, how people pray. Yes. Because again, mm -hmm. uh, prayer yeah. without knowledge, yeah. without revelation knowledge, mm. is yeah. dangerous. Yeah, yeah. sure. Uh, do you realize it is very unfortunate that many people, when they got born again, uh -huh. they, they got born again, they were introduced to the church, then were told, yeah. you have to be praying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But no one taught them yeah. how, how to, to pray. pray. Yeah, sure. And actually, the only way to know how to pray mm -hmm. is by so knowing like, the the word mm -hmm. yeah so many people pray amiss yeah. yeah because they don't know how to pray mm -hmm. yeah. i had some guys at certain time i was uh, in a certain prayer mountain yeah and uh, i had some guys uh, fight the devil hey. and in one corner yeah. i know you are good mm. you were good in hey. that <laughs> <laughs> one guy on one corner said i come i i destroy you devil yeah. i take the knife now mm. i cut you into pieces I'm, then uh, the other guy on the other corner told him don't finish him yeah. throw him yeah. my throw him to him i am here throw him to me yeah. and I finish him yeah. but when you listen to that prayer you feel uh, like yeah. something is missing something, yeah. is missing. something yeah. big is missing yeah, why sure, sure. understanding yeah true understanding and yeah. this is the essence of the word yeah so the word mm -hmm. shapes our prayer yeah wow. i don't know how you can you can put that you can uh, maybe add something on that uh on the same yeah mm -hmm. it is very essential and and jesus jesus had first of all to establish them at the place like uh there's a, there's a sequence that follows when you lead when you live when you read the, the life of christ mm -hmm. you will realize that before he brought the disciples to the place of teaching them prayer mm -hmm. uh, allow me to to come out of the book of study and come to the book of matthew he begins by establishing them mm -hmm. in the word of god yeah. first of all he takes them to someone uh, first of all the bible says that he came to Zebulun, mm -hmm. first of all, and then the Bible says that a great light has come. Mm -hmm. he, he fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah that said that the people who dwelt in a great darkness mm -hmm. have seen a great light. Wow. The people who lived in a place of the shadow of darkness, they have now, light has been introduced to mm -hmm. them. That is the coming of Christ. When he landed on the scene, mm -hmm. he introduces light first of all. Then the Bible records of the sermon on the on the mountain mm -hmm. or on the plain. That means he first of all brought them somewhere where it is above. So he brought them to a place of higher place, mm -hmm. a higher place. And when you read the, the place of someone on the mountain, mm -hmm. you will realize that Jesus was trying to show them that the place where you are at, it's not just a mere place of human mm -hmm. beings. You are in a higher place where God is. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're in the place of God. So now from that point now, he will teach them prayer. So all this to say that before Jesus taught them anything else, he first of all brought the revelation of his word mm -hmm. and the revelation of himself. Then now he brings the revelation of prayer. Oh, wow. Also, even in the same book of John, before Jesus prayed at any place, I love the book of John, before he prayed, he first of all introduced the knowledge of the word of God, like mm -hmm. in chapter 1 of John, mm -hmm. then now he will come and pray in chapter 17 chapter of John. 17, so yeah. that shows that he, the correct prayer is only by the place of where the word of God is established, where mm -hmm. understanding is settled. And we also see that consistent with Apostle Paul, yeah, our yeah. great apostle. In fact, uh, um, in, fact uh, in fact, have you come to realize that um, Paul never told the church to pray. Yeah. Actually, it's at he the never, end. It was at the end of every chapter. Wow. He used to teach them yeah. 
who they are. For example, in Ephesians, yeah. he taught them who they really are. Yes, sir. You know, the position, their mm -hmm. position in Christ. Mm -hmm. They are walking. And now at the end, now yeah. he's telling the church, now pray. Yeah. Why? Because he does not want you to pray. Yeah. He wants you to know the word. Wow. Once you know the word, yeah. you will pray. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And what is prayer? Yeah. Communion. Yeah. And what is communion? What you have already had. The Bible says we have we have heard. Yeah. Therefore we be, we be believed. Yes. So therefore we speak. And we cannot God, believe, yeah. speak what we have not believed. Mm -hmm. So God has called us and he's helping us through Apostle Paul yeah. to let us know that now that you have heard the word of his grace, yeah. now you can pray. Yeah. And what do you pray? Yeah. You pray according to what Christ has already done. Oh, and I will tell you for truth, yeah. the church of Philippians, the church of Galatians, the yeah. church of, uh, of, of, of um, Ephesians, all those churches, they prayed the will of God. Wow. Why do we pray the will of God? Yeah. Because we pray in his word, and yeah. his word cannot lie. Yeah. Yeah. What it speaks about, yeah. you know, it, this, this word works. Yeah. The, for example, the Bible says that, uh, that as he is, so are we in yeah, this world. Yeah. You cannot pray as a servant. Yeah. Yes, you know that you look like a father. Yeah. So you will pray in that dimension that yeah. I know who I am. Yeah. I know I look like you. Yeah, if sure. you are in this world, mm, you couldn't film. be in this and in this and in this yeah. and in this. Yeah. But you could, you could live an effortless life. Yeah. You could live a victorious life. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I live a victorious life. Why? Because ah. Jesus is victorious. Yeah. And because Jesus My is God. victorious, yeah. I am victorious. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. So you are established in the victory of Christ. Of Christ yeah. Jesus. And because of that now, even mm. as you walk in life, yes. you walk in that understanding of the victory mm -hmm. of Christ. Yeah. Wow, wow. So it is not the, the prayers yeah. that shape the word. Yeah. No, it is, it the, is the word, word that, that shapes, shapes the prayer. our prayers. Wow. And you realize that uh, if we take time in understanding yeah. the, the word of God, yeah. what he says about us, yeah. what is spoken, uh, uh, spoken about our union with Christ, mm -hmm. our identity in Christ, yeah. our oneness, the glory that God has given us in Christ. Yeah. Prayer will be so automatic. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, will be, it will flow because, and that is why, mm -hmm. uh, uh, that is why people err because they don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you know, even yeah. your prayer yeah. will be, will be will be perfect and it will be in the perfect will of god yeah and uh, the perfect will of god is what he has said yeah. in, his, in word. his word so it is possible to pray the perfect will of god yeah it is possible to know the perfect, perfect will of will god, of god. Yeah. but it is only possible yeah. as we get into the his knowledge word. of the word yeah. wow. you know I, I usually compare the two mm -hmm. word and prayer mm -hmm. like uh, breathing in and breathing, breathing out, out. <laughs> you cannot live by breathing in yeah. alone yes, yeah. yes. And you cannot live by breathing out, out alone. alone. Yeah. And as long as you breathe in, yeah. it will be automatic. Yeah. Yeah. You'll breathe out. out. Yeah. Wow. So as we focus on the word, mm -hmm. the word is breathing in, yeah. giving us that which is ours yeah. yes. from the word. Yeah. Then we breathe out. out. Yeah. We pray. Yeah. We pray. And how, how do we pray? Yeah. We Again, prayer mm -hmm. is not, you know, some. I think yeah. in our next episode, yes. we'll... we'll uh, will dismantle <laughs> this thing called prayer. Because yeah. sometimes what people call prayer yeah. is, not, is prayer. not prayer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like uh, you hear people saying that mm -hmm. uh, God is here if you don't come down, yeah. Yeah. if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, uh, perform a miracle in my life, yeah. Yeah. either now or never. Either now or never. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you see, that is not what the Bible says. Yeah. The Bible says that uh, prayer, mm -hmm. actually, if you understand the context of the whole Bible, yeah. when what talks about prayer, yeah. you realize that prayer is a union, that is all you said. Yes. It is a fellowship with yeah. God. Yes. Yeah. And prayer mm -hmm. is speaking the word back to God. Wow. Wow. Not speaking your words mm -hmm. to God, yeah. but speaking his word back to God. Wow. Not speaking mm -hmm. your thoughts. Yeah. Not speaking how you feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's speaking <laughs> the word yeah. yes. back to him. Wow. Yes. That which you have already received. Yes, that wow. which you have already received. Yeah. And because our time is up, I want us to wrap it up there. <laughs> and uh, we'll pick it up from there in our next episode. Yeah. We'll talk about prayers now. Yeah, yeah I know there's so much to talk about the word. Mm. And, uh, you know, this time is, is like that. Mm. So I want you to just say your last words as uh, you... As we finish, Jeremiah. Wow, I'm so blessed by the teachings. It's only in the gospel of Christ whereby even the one who is 
bringing the word is blessed <laughs> and I'm so blessed yeah. and I'm so delighted. I just want you to know that God has a good plan for your life. Yeah. And because he has given us his word, he wants us to feed in his word daily. Yeah. Take the word of God at it as it is. And as you take the word of God, you want mm -hmm. to go for classes about prayer. Prayer does not need classes. You need the word of God. And when you take the word of God as it is, the next thing you will pray. In fact, you will find yourself praying as you feed the word of God. God bless you. Wow, awesome. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I, I can't wait for the next episode <laughs> <laughs> as we dismantle the, the reality about prayer. Yes. And as I concluded last time, the same, same thing I will mention here. He says that if you abide in me, if you stay present to my words, and then the words that you have been present to, they remain alive in you or they are inside of you, then you will ask for whatsoever and thing you mm. will and it shall be given you. Amen. So it's where now we are made one with the word and then now you cannot ask outside the will of God. Yes. Now you will not ask amiss, you will ask accordingly. Mm -hmm. And then after that happens, it will be it will flow. In fact, it will not need an answer. It mm -hmm. is the answer itself. Hallelujah. Praise God. Awesome, awesome. So it is the word that shapes your asking. Yes. Stay God. present in the word. Yeah. And whatever you ask, ask shall be given to you. Hallelujah. <laughs> so it is the word that shapes your prayer, shapes your asking. Yes. So asking. do not get away from the word. Yes. Yeah. If you want to see a difference in your life, yeah. Stick to the word. Yeah. Yeah. Stick to the word. And yeah. if you want to speak, mm. speak the word. Yeah. Because that is the only way yeah. God has designed things yeah. to work. Yeah. Wow. Because even God does not work minus his word. Yeah. So if you want anything to work as per God, yeah. stick to his principles. Yeah. Mm. The principles of God is, the is word. his word. Wow. So speak the word of God in your life. Praise God. Uh, stay present in the place of the word of God. Hallelujah. And this word... Yeah. Do not let it leave you mm -hmm. because it is your life. Your praise God. And it is the light of men. Mm -hmm. So this has been the, the Beholders Church and it has been awesome with yeah. my brothers, uh, Jeremiah Blessing and Bonnie Glorious the Glory. And my name is Ben Fetcher Grist and I'm delighted that you have been with us. We don't take it for granted. You are a blessing to us. And we speak the, the, the life of God in your life Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. We Amen. thank you, Father, mm. for the ministry of your word. Yes. Because the gospel mm. is the power mm. unto salvation. Amen. Whatever needs a power encounter, yeah. because of the gospel, mm. it is sorted out yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You are blessed. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.